<laughs> no. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Amy B. And okay, she doesn't want to talk. Maddie. <laughs> Annoying ass. Anywho, we're back with another story time. YouTube, I'm so sorry I abandoned you guys, but school and work was kicking my ass, so I had to fall back. But I'm on spring break. And a bitch couldn't go to New York. So here we go with some YouTube videos. So this is about um, a story time about the time we snuck to another country and almost got stranded there. So stay tuned. Okay, so <laughs> jumping into the story. Pretty much it was a random Saturday night. We knew that we were going to go out to eat and go to Canada so mm -hmm. we all you know took our passports and everything like that and for what those of it? you who are watching what part of Canada was it again Windsor Windsor, Windsor. yeah yeah so those of you who know Detroit is like 30 minutes to Canada like you could just cross the border and you're in Canada so pretty much we went out to Bahama Breeze that food was fucking Ooh. trifling no it wasn't it was good my food was nasty I didn't like well, it I like what I <laughs> of course she did <laughs> but yeah the food was nasty and I almost threw up or whatever so whatever let's scratch that part out mm -hmm. but yes yeah, so <laughs> the funny interesting part goes now it's like okay so we tried to cross the border and when we got to the border the lady at the border had a stanky ass attitude bro like stank ass attitude so like, it was Abraham was driving mm -hmm, he was in the passenger seat and I was in the back no, I was in the back. You was in the front. Because, you know, I never used to like sitting in the front. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was in the back seat, just cracking up the back seat of my own car. <laughs> but yeah, so basically we get to the border and the lady had a nasty ass attitude and she just, which I'm about to do over here. <laughs> you and we start, didn't know what to say. <laughs> you should have started Abraham for the hood. Like, <laughs> Who <laughs> this bitch talking to? Like, I'm about to cut up on her. So, basically, she was giving us a hard time to cross the fucking border. Like, sis. They don't have to cross. pay to cross it? Mm -hmm, we didn't pay. Are you sure? I thought we paid, like, 4 or $5 to cross. Oh, I think we did, actually, yeah. like, a toll or some shit like that. You're right, yeah. Okay, so we did have to pay something to cross the border or whatever. So, whatever. She had a stinking-ass attitude with him. And then, you know, we crossed the border. So, now we're in Canada. And we're like, oh, what is there to do here? We didn't know what to do. And everything that could go wrong went wrong. First of all, <laughs> our bitch has to try to go to the casino. No, before that, our phone stopped working. Uh huh. As so soon that was before. Uh huh. You're right. So as soon as we crossed the border, because we were trying to use the GPS to get to, to the get casino. somewhere. Yeah, yeah. That's so. That's what happened. Then we went to I'm McDonald's like, trying to get Wi-Fi. <laughs> We went to McDonald's trying to get Wi-Fi. Like, what the it, hell was that going to do for us? It did not work. So, yeah, that didn't work. So, we like, okay, we're just going to retrace our steps. You got to remember here. We passed here. We passed there. Trying to remember everything, which was stupid. An epic fail. Exactly. And then on top of that, that's when we finally saw, we were circling around and we saw the casino. We get to the casino. Everybody got their ID but me. And I'm just like, seriously, like, I'm not about to go back to my car and get my ID or whatever. So, I guess we kept, you know, going back and forth. And the dude actually let all of us in the casino. And uh, another thing is you only got to be 19 to get in the casino in Canada. Which so, that was good. like, what? Ah, because at the time I was 19. And so, I'm I like, think hey, I was 21, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I was 19. So, yeah, so they let us in. We don't know how to gamble. So, that was... <laughs> A epic fail again so you know after like 20 minutes of taking pictures we like okay Walking we might as well around. walk around downtown canada which was also stupid because there was nobody on the street and it was really cold that it was yeah, it was because it was like november i think it was, really yeah, it was super cold so we just like okay this is dumb like <laughs> this is a dummy mission to canada like we think we about to go to canada <laughs> we in another country like ooh, our parents don't know we done snuck we some exactly, daredevils bro only for canada to be trash like, like who nothing knew nothing worked all. If we knew, we would have took our GPS or something, but it, we just messed up. Like, we went late, first of all. It was late at night. It was probably like 9 or 10. Mm -hmm. So, what the hell was going on? But, mind you, it's a Saturday night. If anything, Saturday night downtown Everybody's should out. be... Everybody should be yeah. out, but no. And then, they fool over there was expensive. Remember, everyone tried to buy that hot dog for like $8? <laughs> I'm like, 
you fooling. I'm not about to do that. We just ate, so no. And then we was ready to go home after that. Yeah, we was annoyed. Like we were pissed off. We like, okay. But we how might. was the question? How are we was about to, to go get back, back home? Because that's the crazy thing. It's easy to get in Canada, but to get out is the hard part. Like I know of tons of people that get stuck at the uh, Detroit Canada border or whatever. Exactly. So just our lucky night. So obviously we were pissed off. Canada was whack as hell. We didn't get to do nothing. Shit, we could have went our to the club. Our Wi-Fi didn't work. Right. We could have definitely went to the club. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, our Wi-Fi wasn't working. You know, we was, it was just all bad, you know. So now it's time to get back over there, leaving Canada. And this is where the fun begins. <laughs> so... Yeah, you can explain that part because... So I think we actually stopped somebody and asked them uh, to show us the way out. Right, right, to leave Canada, and yeah. And um, so the guy directed us and we finally found the way, you know, out of to Canada. To get back to our city. <laughs> so it's like this long, it's like a long bridge. So it's like you just keep driving and driving and driving. And then you get to like this area where it's like police people yeah you know in this little the, I, th whatever. I think they call like cbp or something like that custom border police yep. or whatever but yeah so. we get over there and they ask you a ton of questions what were you doing in canada what brings you over here what's in your car <laughs> how long were y'all there where y'all passport where y'all id what's your name like a whole interrogation to get back to our city like we're not u.s citizens or exactly. something exactly like y'all see the blue passport right so come on <laughs> they asked us to open the trunk mind you around the time like i think i only had my car for like three months or something yeah. so i had never opened my trunk my dad just gave me the keys to my new car like i know nothing i'm like Abraham, <laughs> what if we open it? it's a human skull in there or something this made abraham panic even more <laughs> like i was like what <laughs> He was like, oh my God. And I, when I say Abraham was tongue tied, this nigga was tongue tied. He was like, uh, I ain't uh, never uh. see him dead. It was like, pop the trunk open. He was like, I mean, how you open your trunk? <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. You got to use the key. Like, I don't, I just got my car. Like, I have no idea how to open the and trunk. And he was asking you, I mean, what's in your trunk? <laughs> I'm like, I have no idea. I ain't even going to lie to you. I got scared too. I'm like, I was bro, scared, we're like, about to go to jail tonight. Mm, might be some drugs or some, <laughs> some something that's not supposed to be in there in that trunk. We were so scared. So Abraham was like literally panicking. His hands were shaking and everything like, oh my God, please don't let them be in there. So, you know, they searched the trunk or whatever. Gave us the green light to go. Wait, they made us get out the car, right? Yeah, we did have to get out. Yeah, yeah. they did. They searched us and everything inside. and checked the car, <laughs> all of that. And after like that whole 10 minute, like we laughing now, but we were scared. Like we cannot get stuck in Canada. We didn't ask our parents nothing. We just snuck across the border. Like just imagine what you gonna call your parents at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Come get Canada. me. We stuck in Canada. Like what? And at that time, I don't even think my mom, my parents even had their shit yet. Yeah, I, I highly doubt it. Shit, we would have been stuck over there for real. But exactly. Yeah, we were scared. Like like I said, we laughing out, but we were scared. Like, we cannot get stuck in Canada. Like, we cannot. And we had to work the next day. Exactly. We I think all we got back home like at 1 a.m. 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we had to work the next day. Like, we, what we about to tell work? What we about to tell our parents? <laughs> we stuck in Canada. Like, what? So, yeah, we got stuck, and then, you know, whatever, they searched the car and everything like that, and then they didn't find anything in there, so they, they let, let us go. go. <laughs> and then, once we get across the border, here go Abraham talking, talking hot about shit, age. like, that age. lady, she was like this, she was like that, talking hella crap about her, but I'm like, you wasn't saying that in her face, no. <laughs> you was not saying that in her face, you was about to pee in your pants, like, Abraham was so yeah. scared. But then when we crossed the border, they let us get back into the church. He was like, I'm never coming to Canada again. <laughs> I said the same oh thing. I ain't never been back since. He said, I am not crossing the border again. <laughs> no, it was too funny. No, it was too, because he was fucking hella smack when we crossed the he border. He was so, so tight. I'm scared. like, but she wasn't saying that when she was cussing you. I like when she had all that attitude and when the dude told you to pop the trunk open. <laughs> But yeah, we crazy. Like we literally snuck to another country. 
without our parents' permission and almost got stuck With no there. phone. I'm surprised we made it up. It, true. Because like we said, our phones didn't have no service, no nothing, nothing. like that. But once we crossed the border, get back to Detroit. Here go, everybody working. notifications. And that's something I never up. knew. I, I thought that your phone was still worth it. They be saying but... U.S. and Canada, but... No, don't work. Nope. <laughs> and if any of y'all try to come visit us in Detroit, we not going across that border. No. I can tell you that. <laughs> like, and I, I have not been back over the border since then. Actually, I'm actually kind of scared. Like, what if I go with somebody whose papers messed up? We all gonna be stuck. There. No, they gonna be stuck over there. Uh, uh, but if they the one who drove us, then what? We could drive. We could take the car. <laughs> <laughs> we could take the car. Our phones don't work. You can see it. <laughs> Are we gonna get back? <laughs> but yeah, that was the time that we snuck. Moral of the lesson is for me, don't do stuff behind your parents' back because you could end up in another country without help. <laughs> exactly. Same here. But yeah, that was don't the be time. like us. We snuck to Canada, unfortunately. <laughs> Bye guys. Doozy. <laughs> <laughs>